Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible, one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on every chapter of the Bible, and I'm sharing those with you one chapter at a time. Today, we're looking at 2 Chronicles chapter 22. I'll never forget an interview where two sons of an alcoholic testified to each of their stations in life. They both said, I am the way I am today because of my father. One son was in and out of prison with lifelong struggles with addiction, while the other son was a successful businessman living a clean life. But they both attributed their life to their father. It's very interesting. Arguably, Jehoshaphat's greatest mistake as the king of Judah was to form an alliance with Israel through an arranged marriage between his eldest son, Jehoram, and Athaliah, the daughter of Ahab and Jezebel. Remember them? 2 Chronicles 18 verse 1 and 19 verse 2. By doing so, he invited wickedness and destruction into his family. Ultimately, Jehoram murdered all his brothers to secure his dynasty. 2 Chronicles 21 verses 4 to 6. Jehoshaphat's grandson Ahaziah became king upon the death of his father Jehoram. He was described in 2 Chronicles 22 verses 3 to 4. He also walked in the ways of the house of Ahab, for his mother was his counselor to do wickedly. He did evil in the sight of the Lord like the house of Ahab, for they were his counselors after the death of his father to his destruction. Now, ironically, Ahaziah's premature death was caused by making the same error as his grandfather. He allied with Israel. Upon her son's death, Athaliah attempted to murder all the, quote, royal offspring of the house of Judah. Providentially, the seed of David survived through a baby named Joash, who was rescued by his auntie, by Aunt Jehoshabeth, who was the daughter of the wicked queen. In this time of great betrayal and bloodshed, the son followed in the ways of his wicked mother, and the daughter thwarted her evil plan. Both were raised by the same woman. We all have choices to make in life. Seize the moment and walk in the way of victory for your life. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus, Romans 8:37. It's your choice and you need to make it today. Seize the moment.